Hi guys! Today's video is a study with me compilation video. In my previous study with me video, I asked you whether you preferred the compilation videos or a single subject, and most of you asked for the compilations. So here we are back again with the compilations like some of my older study with me videos. So on Tuesday, I started out by doing my math homework. Unfortunately, this compilation is only of Tuesday and Wednesday. I plan to do this for the whole week, but I wasn't able to film on Thursday and Friday because my SD card stopped working. So expect my next couple of videos to be filmed with my phone until I can get a replacement SD card. There honestly isn't a huge difference in quality, just that with a camera, I have a lot more control over the brightness. As you can see, this clip is pretty dim, but the next clip I will fix the ISO or ISO and make it brighter. As a tip for anyone looking to get into Study Blur, Study Gram, or Study YouTube, or just any YouTube in general, your iPhone camera or the camera of pretty much every smartphone actually works quite well. Most of my old videos are filmed with my iPhone 6S, and I'm sure with all the new iPhone models, the cameras are even better. Anyways, now I'm checking the answers for my math homework and then switching over to taking notes from my AP European history textbook. If you'd like to know the process for how I take these notes, I have a video about it called How I Take History Notes, which I'll link in the cards. Since we've got a lot of empty airspace where I don't need to explain anything with the voiceover, I thought I would explain some stuff about social media to you guys, and today we are starting with affiliate links. Basically, if you click on an affiliate link and buy something, the person who provided the link, usually the YouTuber, will get paid a bit of commission. And I personally use affiliate links when I link to Amazon. Amazon has an affiliate link system that's universal to anyone who signs up for it. And basically, you can link to any item on Amazon and you'll get a commission. I don't exactly know what the commission percent is and how it may differ from item to item. And to be honest, I don't care that much. I only link the things I genuinely recommend the most and it doesn't hurt that I get a little bit of extra cash out of it. Another online store that I link to a lot is JetPens, which I'm a pretty big fan of. I actually interned there over the summer. I don't have affiliate links with them, but the links I do have are tagged so that they know that I sent you over. I do get a gift card to their store every month, and I know this sounds like I'm just trying to suck up to you and sound like a really good person, but I do spend most of that gift card money on giveaways for you guys. So basically, JetPens links are not affiliate links, but maybe you guys would be interested in disclosure like that. They don't really require me to feature anything either, I just like to link to their site because I like supporting the business that I worked at. So now I've switched over to making a Quizlet based on the notes that I just took, and I also took out some old notes that I took earlier which I forgot to make a Quizlet for, so I'm making some flashcards for those notes as well. Now I'm working on the timeline that we have to do for my history class. Basically, each unit we have to make a timeline, and here I'm just recording information. So now this is Wednesday. I know you can't really see the title in the bottom left. I did some Quizlet studying and making cards during tutorial, which is like a study hall period. I didn't have my camera, so I just screen recorded. After I finished my history flashcards, I studied for French using a flashcard set that my teacher created. And that's also the reason there's a lot of incorrect answers, because I didn't know whether the teacher put the article in front of the word or not. Now I'm doing some more reading notes for AP European History. We have a lot of readings in the class, which... I guess it's good because we can learn a lot and it's really interesting, but it takes up so much time. It would be great if we all had time turners like Hermione to finish all of our coursework and take even more classes. 
Honestly, I sound like such a nerd, but there are so many more classes that I would love to take, but I just don't have enough time in my schedule for all of them. If any of you have noticed or care, I got the Pilot Juice in the 0.38mm size just to test it out for pen recommending purposes. A lot of you guys ask about whether I prefer the Pilot Juice or the Zebra Sarasa, and I tested the 0.5mm versions before and I definitely prefer the Sarasa. I'm still kind of torn between the 0.38 or 0.4mm sizes. The Pilot Juice has a weird rattling feeling which I don't like, but it also is smoother than the Sarasa in the smaller size. Now I'm switching over to a math worksheet about graphing parabolas, since in class we're learning about conic sections. In hindsight, it was a terrible idea to do graphing in pen, since if you make a mistake, you can't use whiteout on a graph. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I normally do my math work in pen besides tests, just because I really dislike the feeling of pencil. I definitely prefer pen over pencil. But recently, I've moved towards using pencil actually, because before, another one of my main problems with pencil was that the eraser I had just didn't erase so easily, it took a lot of effort. But recently, I got a new eraser, which is the Sakura Foam. I used it earlier in the video, and it works so well that I don't really have a problem with pencil. Now I'm doing some more Quizlet, who would have guessed? And this, again, is based on my history notes that I did earlier. The reason I didn't go directly from history to history is because when I'm filming these, it's kind of a hassle to set up the bird's eye view, which is directly over my desk, and then to this side view, so I just separate between what needs to be filmed bird's eye, which is writing, and then what needs to be filmed from the side, which is my laptop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can check out more study with me videos which will be linked on screen right now. I upload new videos every Monday and Friday and pictures of what I'm studying on my Tumblr and Instagram. See you next time!